Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Crypto Scene Investigation. We have got so much to go through today. This is one chain. Um, we're going to be going through some various social stats, some things on their white paper, some website stats, um, some things which they may have gone right, some things which they may have done wrong. Um, well, I say wrong, but could have done better is probably a better way to look at it. Um, and so we're going to be going through a whole lot of things. Um, if you guys like what I do on this channel, you know, do the old liking and subscribing. If you wish to comment, have a read that little grey box right down the bottom there. Um, this is a bit of the backstory as to why I'm doing this video. You guys see it? You guys read it? Cool. This is one of my advocates who messaged me, being like, hey man, can you do a video? And my response was like, probably not. Thanks for continuing to give me your finances. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's a little bit deeper than that, but you can have a read of that. Um, if you guys do also want to want to request videos, please consider becoming an advocate. Also, if you do end up liking this video, please share it. Now, I want to make a huge disclaimer for this. Don't trust my word completely when it comes to this. Reason why is for this bad boy right there. You see that right next to that that little arrow? Coins. This is a coin, okay? Coins are one of my weaknesses. For some reason, people like my coin videos. I don't quite under understand why. Um, and when I did my little YouTube survey, um, when I went to the community section, if you guys do want to fill out these things, you, you can as well, because it is helpful. Uh, when I asked what people, people um, which one do you prefer to invest in, coins or tokens, they said coins. I thought I asked, what would you rather me make videos on, coins or tokens? Anyway, looks like I didn't ask the question, so I take that back. Um, this is really helpful for me. I'm going to delete this one, because that's not relevant anymore. Um, but yeah. So, hmm. If you guys want to help me out by voting for things there, that'll be helpful. Alright, let's have a look at some basic stats. First of all, these guys are chilling under the $100, wait, $100 million market cap. Which is pretty low. Um, so usually you mostly want to invest in things which are over $100 million and market cap um, in terms of safety but if you want to do a riskier investment then generally if it's under 100 million you're pretty alright so here's where we can see in regards to how the money thing has gone since 2018 this would have likely been during that sort of big burst um, and then we had a little bit here and then sort of just went down there um, so we're pretty low compared to like where we were so you would have lost a lot of money if you had <laughs> invested around there um, so here are some cool things about these guys though um, so these guys are on a bunch of well-named exchanges Binance, Huobi Global, KuCoin um, I mean <laughs> these guys according to your boys CSI checklist the fact that they're on Binance they get an absolute 10 for that. Carpi to these guys. Everybody give them a round of applause. Um, sorry I didn't make this dark mode. I'm, like A bunch of these are in dark mode, but this one's not. Um, so this is essentially what they have called for their 2021 plan. Um, as you can see, one chain 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, Galaxy Consensus 4.0, 5.0, and doesn't have the 2021 or the... Oh, sorry, this is the, the, the 2021 and... They also have something else. Oh, okay, so those have been completed. Cool. So that's their quote-unquote ro roadmap. Um, they've got a bunch of partners as well. Um, I tried going to this website. Didn't work. Don't know who they are. Um, but they also have got some other familiar names, you know, like MakerDAO and USDC. Um, Trezor, Trezor, however you pronounce it. Trust Wallet officially integrated with, um, with WAN, <laughs> Wide Area Network. Um, yeah, so in terms of calling them partners, it's probably a bit of a stretch, really. Um, but you know that your boy is a little bit, a little bit anal when it comes to, you know, these sort of things. Um, yeah, so I'm going to keep that up because we'll probably need it when we go back through our ratings at the end of the video. Um, this is their medium. Um, so when I saw, you know, like April, like 24, 2021 and 2021, I'm like, are these guys actually updating like us on what they're doing? But they are. Look, April 5th. Um... So that's pretty good, uh, but here's the problem with this. Um, pretty much this information, I feel like they've already made a website on this. Sorry, not a website, a video on this. Um, so this is their main YouTube thing, and they've got like a few videos on, you know, like how like how to, you know, do the cross-chain stuff, right? But when was the last time that they uploaded? Seven months ago. Um, it doesn't really give me a lot of faith. Um, yeah, so to me... This is just my honest opinion. It feels a bit like a graveyard, um, me looking at some of this stuff. 
it does feel a bit like a graveyard it feels like a bit of a dead project from from what i can see of it okay remember not financial advice everything is subjective keep your opinions to yourselves you know um but yeah so that's kind of what i'm thinking um is that so their media is fantastic so they have really really cool videos um like i mean they've they've done it incredibly well um you know like very animated there are if you do want to get into this project by chance um so there's a few extra things to realize so number one um apparently nfts and DeFi and something else was like happening in the year of 2021 amazing incredible um apparently this year there's going to be zk roll-ups they've also got something called x roll-ups never heard of them didn't deeply research into it um but also interoperability because essentially people want to be able to sort of move between chains right so if you have a look at sort of this briefly so each each chain is essentially like on its own kind of field right um so that's where something like one chain comes uh into play is that essentially they are just having this giant um cross chain multi bridge thingy where you know you can go and trade everything however here is one of my own personal problems with what these guys have done i could not really find much um significance in terms of um in in, in terms of why you should directly invest into like the one chain product itself couldn't find information on that i mean i looked through their white paper i mean yeah we're also going to look through some of the white papers as well um but yeah so very high quality stuff media is great footage looks great um they talk about you know like how some banks like are also struggling to do things because you know they have to go through different dollars and yen and euros and all that sort of jazz so yeah um so we'll continue on from that so please keep in mind the videos which i have just shown you you guys um because if you do want to get into them go and write down these these titles um and then this is and this is what happens when i type in one chain interview um as you can see two years ago two years ago nine months three years three years like i feel like i'm walking through a graveyard dude um and then I go AMA, uh, AMA response, 2018, four years ago. Um, token metrics AMA? I mean, that's that's a, a token metrics thing. That's, yeah, it's, yeah, anyway. Moving on. Um, one thing which is cool, this is also cool, which they actually do, um, is that pretty much, like, a bunch of what they're wanting to do is make it hugely easy for developers and you guys should know that when it's easier for developers it becomes easier for us as the end users right so the fact that they have actually gone and and made a bunch of their source codes public is first of all wonderful as we can see these things are actually being updated in terms of their um their their various repositories so the fact that that they're doing that is is i think wonderful um, so open source wonderful zim is that other developers can build on it and all that sort of jazz this is one scan kind of cool um so this is top 10 stormen don't really know what these are to be honest but it seemed kind of cool um something which sort of stood out to me i think it no it's not on this one it's on a, another one is this one one chain explorer so what stood out to me from here you guys guessed it the rich list <laughs> so here is the, the rich list um so in terms of anybody having an overwhelming amount of um influence i would say that these are probably some level of like smart contracts if anything um <laughs> whether or not they actually are is another question because i mean this one right 68 transactions whereas this one's like thirty-nine thousand transactions like i feel like this has to be like probably some sort of like chain or like contract type thing right although how do we find out when we click into here does it tell us um it just tells us some various things i mean you you can see that it's done a bunch of transactions today already so i'm thinking that it's probably like some sort of contract or something um the things which don't really have much transactions i'd say that these are actually proper uh wallets um but these two here i would say that these are both dead addresses because you know with all the zeros there 
Um, yeah, so in terms of like possible threatening big boys would be like this one dude who is like 8%. Um, but I mean that number is very likely supposed to be higher because you take out 20% of it then that 8% becomes like, I don't know, like 14? Um, <laughs> I don't actually know. Uh, maybe like 10. <laughs> um, yeah, and then so you've also got these other guys here. But yeah, so in terms of these other people who've got these higher amount of transactions, they could be maybe genuine businesses. Um, or they could just be individuals doing a wild amount of transactions. And one other benefit of using one chain as well. Um, so here are two things which I learned from watching their videos. Number one is that the, um, I believe it's, was it, I want to say consensus, but I might be using the, the wrong word. I think it was the, the, um, the way which it is built. Um, it utilizes some similar features in terms of privacy from m the Min Monero coin. Um, but it also... And the other thing is that with Ethereum, um, so you can essentially do something on Ethereum and then when you actually make a, a, a transaction to another blockchain, um, I believe that you may be able to like avoid the gas fees or something like that. <laughs> um, so this is, their, this is their, their, their website. Pretty cool stuff. Um, website is pretty clean. Kind of works. Um, well, I say kind of works. It does work, sorry. Um, yeah, they've also got all this documentation down here. White paper, yellow paper, commercial paper, galaxy consensus paper, and layer 2 papers. So there's, <laughs> there's a bunch of stuff which they've got down there. Um, so their videos, which I have seen, make it really nice and easy for us as end users to be able to use, which is wonderful. Um, I was going to say, didn't we just look through this? I'm going to put it out of that. Um, yeah. So one chain. Uh, so this is what they show as their as their roadmap. As we can see, went from 1.0, 5.0, and then the 2021 says there. Um, and then we have current phase one chain 2022. And so these talk about some of the things which uh, they're going to be doing this year. This is one of the only places and selections which I could see, which actually has like something which is actively up to date now that probably sounds a bit strange me saying that so there was their medium and then there is this so and their github if you count that <laughs> so this is one of the only places i mean the 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 youtube was dead the medium was kind of dead ish um i mean yeah and then we check out some of these some of these white papers right i mean this one done in 2018 so one thing which max mayer brings up when he says that when he tries to find coins or, or, or projects to to invest, one thing that he asks himself is, um, is it is it an easy enough to read white paper for us as the common folk, um, the laymen, <laughs> um, and is it also um, does it also like explain it for maybe those who are more technical, right? And I'm going to be honest, man, like, this was pretty technical for me, so I'm, yep, giving up on that one. Um, next thing, also giving up on this. This is also crazy technical. Um, next one, and then this is the X roll-up, a layer 2 solution for Ethereum. And then talk about this, Jazz. Um, yeah, so I think, I think for us as the common folk, we, we kind of need to know a little bit more. Um, let's have a look at some social stats. So regarding social stats, um, we can see that subscribers... Went all the way from one back in uh, 2017, and then 2018 had that burst, and then it really hasn't been growing too much. So I think that that from what I personally understand, these guys have been focusing less on marketing because I really don't feel like they've been doing much marketing from what I can see. Um, I mean, they can barely update their own website. So I mean, in terms of marketing, are they marketing? Probably not, um, <laughs> but they might be. Um, yeah, so I mean, it's sort of been pretty stable there. Um, comments per day, uh, as you can see, and then they had a massive boom around there for some reason. Do not know what happened there. Um, they might have had like a really brief thing. Uh, yeah, nope. Yeah, I can't really see anything which lines up with that. It could have been a big partnership or something, who knows, or maybe a hack, not sure. And then so that was actually... Um, so that was October 2021. 
Um, and they had a few other posts every there, um, and then so there was probably some sort of popular post around there, which I do not currently know of. This is the Reddit itself. Pretty tidy. Don't really have many comments or complaints. Um, their Twitter. Now, here's a, here's a very interesting thing about their Twitter. Even though their Reddit has seemed a little bit dryish, their Twitter is continuously growing. Continuously growing. So they have currently got, so uh, according to their Twitter, they currently have 138,000 um, followers. And in the last 30 days, they have gained 3,200 followers. So I'm sort of wondering why that is. Um, one of them could be the fact that according to their medium um, is that they are doing something special with Polygon. So carpi to those guys. Get ready to be blinded folks. Great. Um, so these are the one chain Google trends over the last five years. As you can see they had that huge pump and then kind of died off a little bit. Over the last 12 months we'll have a brief look see if there's anything which stands out. A little bit of May, uh, but that's probably coming down from when they were up in uh, April. Yeah, uh, so it would have just been essentially coming down from there, or something like, like that. Um, and let's have a look over the last 90 days. We won't look at the 30 days. Um, actually, I take that back. We will also March 5th and 30 days. Um, yeah, so there hasn't been a huge amount of search with this. Um, but you know, it's keeping pretty steady. Also, I did check to see if I could find any sort of spam bot comments. So they pretty much have none, so I'm gonna like, give them like a 10 for that, because they're looking great with that. Um, so, two websites. Um, one is called Who Is, the other one is called I Can. Um, so registration lookup. Both websites say that the website has not been updated since the 29th of April, 2020. Um, which is, I don't know how true that is, because they managed to add that 2020 thing onto their website. Um, so yeah, I don't know if maybe I'm just reading these little bits of infos in, incorrectly, um, but that's another thing which we can add to, to, to things which are not updated. Um, also, one other little complaint about these guys as well is that, um, actually, yeah, uh, is that on their actual YouTube channel, um, on the YouTube channel here, so it seems like they were were very interested slash praising this um, this one guy, Dustin Byington, and then so he's like a, over like a bunch of like their original videos, and then I didn't see, I couldn't find any information about him leaving, but suddenly I jumped to this I jumped to this man's LinkedIn, and then it says that he that he left in May 2018, so I'm like, what? Um, yeah, so there's that, there's that bit of jazz for you guys. Um, also, during the one chain 5.0 video, I saw this statistic. 95% of all DeFi happens on the Ethereum blockchain. So I did a little, a little bit of digging, a little bit of research. Um, and I was like, is that true? Ethereum, 55.31%. So this is total value locked on all chains, okay? So that said 55 Five, right 55 as you can see here is a bunch of others in regards to total value locks so I was like, okay okay there's that um, let's so this is from DeFi Llama let's have a look some other places so I found this article and it, it linked me to coin 98 analytics dot substack dot com don't know where these guys were pulling their stats from neither but yeah I'm gonna believe them for whatever reason um, but for some reason they stopped making, um, they stopped making things after, like, this date. Uh, so this was November 21st, uh, so that makes this November, like, 28th or something. Um, so they stopped making videos from there on, so I'm like, okay, interesting. But here are some of the stats which I pulled up from them. Daily active users by protocol without PancakeSwap. As you can see, Uniswap is the winner. With PancakeSwap. Holy bananas, daily active users by protocol. Okay, fascinating. Next next statistic, daily transactions by chain. BSC is all the way up here. Polygon is even there. And then Ethereum is kind of just chilling around there somewhere. Okay, okay, interesting. Um, daily active addresses by chain. Ethereum, around here. Polygon, around there. And then BSC, I'm like, what? So, 
you could probably go for both sides on this argument, right? So first of all, a lot of people will claim that like the Binance Smart Chain is like a scam chain and everything on there is just bad. Um, there are some decent things on the Binance Smart Chain. What they are, couldn't name them, name them off, the, off the top of my head, but I believe that there most definitely are some things. Um, and the fact that you skip out on gas fees is a car pie good time. Um, but yeah, so I think, um, yeah, so it doesn't make it automatically bad that it is on the Binance, um, that like Binance Smart Chain is like the highest of, of these things. But when it comes to DeFi, um, yeah, I mean, I just, I don't know, dude. Like, I mean, I was trying to find DeFi stats and this is the best that I could come up with, guys. <laughs> uh, Dex's daily active active users by by protocol. As you can see, what is this top one? Pancake Swap. Great. All right. Um, so, yeah, so I'm sort of like, the fact that they say 95% of all DeFi happens on the Ethereum blockchain, uh, I don't think so, Tim. I really do not think so. I think, in my opinion, they pulled this out of their, out of their booty hole. But, you know, if anybody knows where they're getting the stat from and you, and you want to post it in the comment section, you're very welcome to. Even if you work with one chain yourself, it'd be nice to know, you know, where you, you, where you sort of heard that from. Because everything else sort of looks pretty clean, but that's a little bit saucy. Um, so this is their commercial white paper, probably the most readable white paper which they currently have. Um, they talk about project overview, one one chain applications, and once again, when I was looking through this, um, I couldn't find anything which made me f which made me personally feel comfortable to invest in this project. Okay, I couldn't find anything which personally made me feel comfortable to invest. All right. Um, also something which was interesting. So this one, this has been done in 2017, right? And our dear boy, Dustin Byington, it doesn't even say that he's anything on there. But you want to know what ended up happening? He ended up becoming the president at, at one chain. Um, he seemed like he was doing a pretty good job from what I could see. Still do not know why he left. Um, some other things as well. So from the main website, we can't actually search people up. <laughs> we cannot search people up from the actual main website, um, which is a bit irritating. So they say our team. Now, I've only looked up these top three boys um, and not Michael Y. So couldn't find Zane, couldn't find Roger. Um, they might be written in another language on LinkedIn, which I have not seen. Um, but yeah, I'll show you the people who I did find. So, um, what's cool is is that also on the YouTube channel they do show um, videos of their of their various team members and faces, which is a really good time. So, let's have a look at this. Um, so, Dustin has been a part of quite a few things. Um, I'm not going to read all these out to you guys, but you might be able to catch the catch the gist from that. Um, <laughs> yes, so he left for some reason, but Jack, I was very impressed when I, when I saw Jack, I was like, Chief Technology Officer, dude, I accidentally read this as Phantom when I first saw that, I was like, Phantom, but yeah, it's Phantom, um, Hewlett P Packard, I mean, that's a pretty big name, Xerox, I mean, another pretty big name, do not know what Twain Brands is, um, <laughs> so yeah, and then it says that he's currently still the chief executive officer for OneChain. Um, so yeah, so he's, so those are pretty much like the main guys who I've kind of looked up. Um, yeah, so once again, I still don't have enough reason to be able to, you know, like invest in this. So, let's do some ratings. Functional and clean website slash media. It worked, it linked us to things. Would be nice if we could actually see an up-to-date and active team page. I'm gonna give them like a five. The reason why I'm giving them such a low score for that, um, so they would get probably like a seven or an eight. But the problem is, are they updating their website? Like it just what? Like it just feels strange. Any threatening big boy holders? Not that we could really see. Uh, I'll give it about a seven, just because I'm gonna be taking into account the potential that you know um, that I mean some of these that these could possibly actually be addresses, which means that yes, there would be some pretty threatening big boy holders. Um, so just bear that in mind. Um, 
is the token slash coin di distribution fair couldn't find any information on that so i'm gonna say not applicable for that one for now uh solid roadmap not really i give them like a, a, th a three for that we barely found out anything we don't know how far through they are on the process they don't update us it's irritating is the team docs with linkedin mm. Uh, I'll give them a three because they do have that YouTube video with or they've, they've actually got two YouTube videos where they actually show their team um, they don't have a LinkedIn but they do have faces and names so uh, it's like a three um, interviews and or AMAs yes but they are old um, I'll give them about a four for that because they they are anything which is older than two years old like that just tells me that like y either you're not enthusiastic about your own project enough or there's something missing um any relevant team experience i'm gonna put not applicable because i feel like we weren't able to find enough information on people um even though you know i only did, like i only tried to find like four people um but that was enough to, to put me off from looking at the rest of them any notable partnerships uh, I mean, notable partnerships. I mean, I recognize Morpheus Labs, um, but are they actually partners? I mean, if if they're with Polygon, that's a pretty notable partner. I'll give them like a I'll give them like a six. Eh? I'll give them about a six. So, according to my rating system, they get about a five out of ten. Um, they're not great, but they're not horrible. Um, yeah, so. That's kind of my point of view. Anyway, team, I really hope that you like this video. Um, I'm not going to do that annoying like and subscribe thing, but I will do that because we do like the kitten. Um, so yeah, if you guys do want to make requests, um, please do. Um, if you do want to comment as well, um, please be kind, man, because honestly, coins are one of my weaknesses. <laughs> if you guys actually like this video, please tell me that you liked it. If you didn't like it, don't just be like, you suck. Um, Give me some constructive feedback, man. Hey, it would be better if you were to do this instead. Um, but yeah, I mean, I didn't really want to spend, like, multiple days on this project. So this isn't a multiple day thing. This is just me thinking about it today and looking at the stats that I could find. So anyway, guys, hope that, that I really hope that this was helpful. Um, good journeys, good investing. I guess, um, don't do anything I wouldn't do, be safe, um, love thy neighbor as thyself, um, and don't look lustfully at another man's wife, <laughs> goodbye.